everybody. Welcome to your daily dose. My name is Michelle. I'm a keeper here at the Devonian Wildlife Conservation Center. And today we're at the Snyder Wilson family Greater Sage Grouse Pavilion and we're going to take you inside to meet our flock. Raph is a special bird so he's got a ton of personality. He's also one of the first birds to start displaying every year. Early February it's usually Raph who's the first one to start trying his display and start practicing. And so he's usually the first one come this time of the year who starts booming um, and he's got a lot of that pizzazz. So he's got those big bright yellow eyebrows, that big bushy tail. And so a lot of our juvenile males like Monty, who's coming up into his first year, will watch a big adult male like this and sort of learn all the moves that he needs to know. So you'll sort of see the males displaying, you'll see Raph in his full display, which he might do for us right now. Which is awesome. And then you'll see the juvenile males will watch these adult males. I'm sort of on the periphery, they don't want to get in their space, but they'll watch the big adult males, see what they do, and they'll practice. So practice always makes perfect, even for sage grouse. Sage grouse are critically endangered here in Canada. Historically, their species has been spread out over uh, the mid United States all the way up into the prairie provinces. Um, but our population has declined almost 93% in the last 50 years. So they're critically endangered in Canada and there's only about 200 left in the wild. And that's split between two provinces, Alberta and Saskatchewan. So they're vital here in Canada because they're such an iconic species as you guys can see with the displaying. A few of the big threats sage grouse have is habitat loss and a lot of the habitat loss is due to agriculture, industry and also disease. So we're working with a lot of stakeholders here in Canada to ensure that these species will have places to thrive, birds that we can release into the wild. We're also trying to protect that wild space um, and keeping places where we can put these grouse back in so they can flourish. Sage grouse are a prey species and one of the biggest threats to them right now when we release them is predators. So that's something we have to be aware of in the wild. It's also something we have to be aware of here at the Devonian Wildlife Conservation Center. So uh, predators are coyotes, uh, owls, eagles, um, all sorts of different things. So they're coming from the ground, they're also coming from above. So a few things that we pay important attention to is their diet and their condition. So we want them to be in the best health as possible when we get them out there uh, so they can do the best job uh, in the wild and hopefully survive. So one really important thing that we're looking for is for them to have the ability to flush and to fly. So sage grouse are ground dwelling birds, um, but they have these very strong pec muscles so they can flush up very high when predators are around um, and get out of there quickly. In front of me here is sage. So we collect sage every fall. Our horticulture team will go out and do this for us and they're going to collect a year's worth of sage for us at one time, which is pretty substantial. So it's a big job. What we do here is we'll take the cut stems and we're going to create bundles for the grouse. So uh, sage is a staple diet item for them in the wild. This is basically all they're eating in the winter and that's why sagebrush is so important and vital to this species. Obviously they're called sage grouse. It is a favorite food item. So what we do is we'll take a few stems, we'll clip it together so it's nice and secure and then we'll take it on inside. So what you guys might notice when I go in to give them their sage is our males and how they like to defend their territory. So I'm going to head on in and you guys can see that uh, they don't like other males in their spaces. They also don't like us in their spaces. So you'll get a good look at it. So yeah, they'll escort me right to the door basically. <laughs> Another really awesome part about working here at the Conservation Center is that we are impacting wild populations and we're putting in that conservation work um, that the zoo is known for. So I love being a part of this program. It's really cool to see uh, how the birds display, uh, how the females choose the males, and then we get to manage the eggs, manage that collection, and then put those birds back into the wild. So not only are the birds super cool, like look at that, um, but we're also doing some really great work um, and we're saving uh, wild places and wild things. So uh, we're really getting in there for the zoo's mission and that's why I love doing this work.